Okay, so this is part three, and uh, let me clear, uh, create a new project file. Let me make sure I save this. Create a new project. Go to file, save this as project two, animation series two. Again, if you want to get this, you will, you can become a Patreon and support me to make the more tutorials like this, and also get uh, the project files like that. So again, we have our timeline, but uh, we want uh, the key. We want our uh, graph editor so that we can see the different keys frames that uh, we are animating so uh, different properties that we are animating so let's uh, get the graph editor select the object uh, make sure we have the record button uh, I think let me see there was an option to limit uh, the keyframes you wanted to active key, key set uh, so yeah if you go under keying, uh, you can see this first drop down menu, active key keying set. You can see uh, by default, it's, it is always set to available, which means that uh, everything uh, that moves or that it changes will be recorded. Uh, so you want to change it to something that you want. Say maybe let's say location. Let me see, a location, and that will only uh, record just uh, the, loc the, loc the location keyframes. That means location X, Y, and Z. It won't be recording uh, these other uh, properties. So let's try record this and see. So at, at the first keyframe, let's move this to there. And uh, let's expand this. Hmm, look at that. It recorded everything for some reason. I didn't expect it to do that because uh, this was set to location only. Let's see. If we go to a different keyframe, remove this. Let's see if it's recording everything. Still recording everything. Let's rotate. Yeah, it's, it's still recording everything, but uh, it shouldn't because uh, the keyframe here was set. Let me show you how it used to work in Blender 2. Points. Because I think uh, since B uh, Blender 2.8 is still in development phase, some things haven't been touched or uh, there's still bugs lacking around. Uh, so but I want, let me show you how it used to work here. So on the timeline, we had the option to select uh, the key set here. So by default, it's always set to available. But uh, if I hit record here and change maybe to location, hit record. Hmm. Does it work like this? Am I forgetting something? Active keyframe sets to be used to to be inserted. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe that's forgetting something. Oh yeah. Okay. I I found out what the problem is. So, you see, I've scaled it. Uh, but because we have uh, this the, this keyframe uh, set set to location, uh, it's not recording uh, that. And uh, if I re re rotate here, it won't record that keyframe as well because you have to hit these these keys here. You have to set uh, the set you want here, say location, and also mark this uh, to activate uh, this feature here. So let's see where that. Uh, where that uh, set is. So we have this set, but uh, how do we auto key? Also, I think these are the keys. So if we, re if we, and uh, by the way, to delete any of the keyframes here, you can just select that and then hit X, delete. That will delete your keyframes that you have inserted. So again, let's try this again. Maybe let me just, no, it's not necessary. Let me delete this. Uh, switch off record, add a cube. 
So we want the keying set to only location, but uh, for this to work, you also have to set uh, to add this, to click on this, these keys here. So when we move this here, uh, make sure we have our record set on, move this to around 50 keyframes. So it should only record location and only the location keys because I will set that under here. Otherwise, if we change it to available, it will record everything that, that is available. Or if we remove uh, this here, it will record everything that is available. Uh, that means if we move, it will record everything from rota rotation, scale, and uh, location, and other values. Uh, but uh, if we, 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 can also, we can just select either location or location and rotation, that will record location and rotation, location and rotation and scale, that will record whatever we are recording, that the same thing that we are recording here, or just scaling. Uh, so if we delete all the keyframes, again, to delete, every, to delete the keyframes, you just right click, left click on them, and hit X, and hit X, delete keyframes. Uh, so if we set uh, this key, King set to scale only, scaling, and uh, make sure you have these keys also set, uh, and uh, hit record, and see, we are starting at that keyframe, then move it to 100, uh, move it to this position, and then scale, you can see, if we play back, this will only scale, it won't uh, move from one object, from one position to the next because we are not recording uh, those position keyframes. And another thing you saw here is that uh, these keyframes were highlighted from here to here. Uh, that, sh that indicates that uh, you have not made any changes from one keyframe to another. So if we scale this to that position, now let me first delete these keyframes. If we move it here, and again move it here, you see that uh, there is this orange bar that is between uh, these keyframes. Uh, this indicates that uh, from this keyframe uh, to this keyframe, there has not been any change in the keyframes. And uh, in the graph editor, you, you can see that uh, the line is flat on the scale uh, properties because we are only recording the scale properties. And uh, we did move the object from here to here, but uh, because we are only recording the scale, uh, those, po those keyframes for the location and uh, rotation have not be re been recorded. Uh, that's why it's showing that uh, there for the keyframes that uh, we are supposed to be recording, nothing has changed for those keyframes. And uh, if we edit this, gra this graph, and uh, let's uh, hit home to zoom in, Maybe just select uh, the scale, the x position, this the x scale. Uh, let's just move, uh, just that graph. Uh, you can also just uh, hide or turn off these other keyframes so that we only deal with the x axis. You can see, you can see immediately when we made a change uh, to this keyframe here. Uh, this bar here went off because now it is noticing uh, a change in there. And uh, you can see now we can play, when we play back, we can see that uh, there is some animation in our object. Uh, this is the same thing. This is the same for when you're recording all keyframes. So if we just delete everything there and turn off this, delete all the keyframes there. If we just move by hitting G and then uh, confirming using the right, uh, the, my, the, the right left middle button, the left mouse, but mouse button, uh, let me turn on keyframes shortcuts here so that you can see. So if I hit G and then use the left mouse uh, key, you can see I'm confirming the keyframe but I have not made any change. So I can also come back here. 
I move the timeline to a different the timeline indicator to a different time time and uh, do the same thing G then move you can see I've not made any changes but I've recorded keyframes and uh, you can see that uh, we have that but so if I move this again uh, then we will remove that and we'll see a change in our graph editor indicating that uh, uh, the different uh, keys we have added so Again, another way to add keyframes is that uh, you can just move your timeline indicator and go to the transform uh, properties and uh, just uh, turn them on like that and uh, it will add uh, those keyframes there. But uh, we have not made, we, have, we haven't, we have not really done a lot. We have not changed our keyframes here. It's, we just recorded the values that uh, uh, have been on that uh, time, time frame. So. But uh, if we want to make changes, you can just come in here and uh, make the changes we want. Maybe we'll let's uh, make changes in the scale axis, so so we can hide all all the graph the graphs for other properties and just re retain uh, the x scale. So it starts off at that size, and at this position here, we can grab it and expand it in that direction. See we have that you can also do this for the x ax for the y axis maybe let's yeah, just do this and we have something like that you can also do this for the rotation y you can see that's what we have or if you wanted to be precise you can say you at uh, this keyframe, uh, let's use this timeline indicator. At uh, this next keyframe, and uh, you can say at this keyframe, let's rotate this 90 degrees in the y direction. And uh, you can see, uh, even in the graph editor, it, it will show you that uh, this is exactly 90 degrees. Uh, let's expand this so that you can see that. You can see this is exactly 90 degrees at that opposite point there. And uh, you can also, again, do this for the location. Let me turn those on. Uh, so location y, location x, we can say, let this be 10, deg 10 meters, and uh, in the y, 10, and then in z, 10, and uh, so we can hit home uh, to zoom in on everything, and uh, if you just want to zoom in on the location uh, properties, you can just hide everything, and then hit home again, and you can do see that. So you can also use control B, shift B, uh, let me see, is it shift B? Yeah, shift B and to draw a box and zoom in at, uh, at, uh, posi at some keyframes. So let's bring all these keyframes again. Hit home to, to show them. And uh, let's say we want to make changes around here. So you just hit shift B, shift B uh, to zoom in like that.